so you want to be a bodybuilder okay um, it's funny because I was talking to some guys recently some other bodybuilders and they were picking my brain and you know uh, trying to find the best way you know to get to where they're trying to go and you know bodybuilding is is it's a very difficult road it's an awful road it's an expensive road it's a selfish road you know it's bodybuilding is a very tough sport and the truth is it destroys a lot of people you know it really does um, but if that's your fucking goal and you have the love and passion for it the way I did then you know what you keep pushing towards your goal you know I mean there's there's nobody that can tell you you know to stop doing what you're doing that you're never gonna make it you're never gonna succeed if you have the mentality that I had back in my bodybuilding days no one could tell me shit <laughs> I I was going to achieve that goal and I was going to be the best I could be, which in my eyes was going to be the best in the world. And nobody could tell me any different. So, uh, but I'm going to give you a little bit of advice that I wish I had in the beginning. And it's actually really, really good advice. And if you really think about it, it will make perfect sense. Now, what happens is as we become better, we want to test ourselves and we want to compete, you know, and the only way to compete is in a bodybuilding contest. So, you know, we diet, we kill ourselves, we suffer and we get on stage and, you know, win or lose, you know, you're going to come back and do it again because it's addicting. And if you lost, you got to redeem yourself. You know, you can't fucking accept, you know, that you didn't win the show or at least make top five, let's say. And if you won, now you're fucking on cloud nine and you gotta keep on fucking winning. You know what I mean? Uh, so you're gonna keep on competing. Now, let's fast forward to the future and let's think about, let's think about what our goals are as far as the future. Where do we see ourselves? What is our main goal? What are we trying to achieve? What is the, the end point? Or um, what is it that's gonna make us feel like we achieved our goal or we are successful at what we've been killing ourselves over? Um, the answer to that to most would be, you know, I just want to turn professional. I want to be a top fucking pro. You know, I want to one day compete on Olympia stage. You know, maybe your goal is to be Mr. Olympia. Um, you know, and if that is the case, you need to find the best way possible to get to that goal. And you want to achieve that goal as soon as possible. You don't want to be in your 40s still trying to turn pro. You know what I mean? So my advice which is really good advice <laughs> is let's say you're weighing 220 pounds all right now I have a question for you you're 220 pounds what weight do you feel you have to compete at to be a top pro in this day and age for you to step on stage with some of the top pros what weight do you really have to have what kind of size do you have to have to be able to compete with these monsters Okay, let's say your answer is 260. I gotta be at least fucking 260 to be on stage with these guys, right? So if you're 220 and you're getting ready to compete in a local show, my question to you is, what is the reason for competing in that show at 220? What's the point? What are you achieving? How is that helping you get to your goal? Um, the answer is you're wasting your fucking time. All right, let me explain that. Is I believe that you should bust your ass and work on getting to what you see as the best possible physique you can achieve. So if you feel 260 solid, shredded, ripped is what it takes for you to be on stage with these top guys, why not bust your ass and get to that size first, right? And just get rid of all the bullshit along the way of competing in a local show, you know, in a national qualifier, in a state show, you know, just cut out all that shit. You don't need to do national shows for five, six, seven, eight years. You know, it's a complete waste of time and money and energy and, you know, time is valuable. And if you're going to be a top pro and you want to make money at this sport, you need to turn pro early. You know, it's... You know, turning pro in your 40s, you don't have a lot of time. There's not a lot of time to make money. There's not a lot of time to enjoy achieving your goal or your dream. So you want to turn pro as quick as possible. So the way to do that is 
there's no reason to be competing in these local level bullshit contests. It's, all it is is a $10 trophy. It's not helping you get to your goal. No one gives a fuck. And you know, if your goal, if this is a career for you and this is something that you wanna do, then you need to get there as quick as you can. And you know, doing these bullshit shows is a waste of fucking time. So my advice to you is get your physique to where it's the best it can be. Then go win the state show, go win the fucking USA's, and then go on your first pro, pro show and place top five, right? Why not? Now, I know, it's, I know you gotta pay your dues and you, know, you gotta play the game, there's a lot of politics involved and so forth, but you know, if you go in looking like a top pro in a national level show, you're gonna win that shit. You know, and again, there's other way, other things you have to do on the way, of course. You know, social media is the most important thing there is right now. For a bodybuilder, social media is more important than, than, than anything. And bodybuilders do not seem to realize this. They do not seem to understand this. And they're so caught up in the trophy, chasing the trophy, they neglect the social media aspect. And What's sad is they, they just, they don't understand how important that is, you know, in their career. And as far as, as being successful and making money, social media is the most important thing and that's what they should be working on more than anything. And I've had this talk with thousands, thousands, and you know, a lot of people, they just ignore what I say and their social media stays the same and they continue doing show after show you know, not winning the shows, social media is not growing, and they're basically not getting anywhere. Um, you know, they're just spinning their wheels, and uh, it, it's, it's expensive, it's an expensive sport. So if you're competing on a regular basis, you know, you're, you're, you're probably broke, you're probably living month to month. And it's the reality, it's the reality of the sport. You know, it's, it's, it's I went through it, you know, we all go through it. And um, the advice I'm given is, don't waste your time, don't waste your energy, don't waste your money, on shows that are meaningless. You know, if, if your goal is to be a top pro and make money in the industry. Now, if you're doing this as a hobby or it's fun, then yeah, great, you fucking have a good time, do these local shows and, you know, um, compete against other people, compete against yourself, try to be the best you can be. You know, it keeps you in good shape, you to get good pictures, and I understand all that. But I'm just talking to the people out there that, that, that are looking for this to be a career choice, and this is what, this is their dream. So if this is your dream, my advice to you is just keep busting your ass in the gym and don't even think about competing until you get to where you need to be. And think about that shit. It makes perfectly logical sense that there's no reason to waste your time with small shows and prolong, you know, getting to where you need to be and start making some fucking money. You know, and again, you're not gonna make money just turning pro. There's a lot more to it than that. But it's a step in the right direction and if you continue pushing your social media and you can continue getting your name out there then it's all going to come together and you will make money and you know at that point you can pretty much do whatever you want so get your body where it needs to be and you know if, if you're six feet tall you know you you should not even ever think about stepping on stage if you're not at least 250 at least 250 I mean, I'm just giving you a little guideline that if you're not shredded 250, you have no business stepping on stage. If your goal is to be a top pro, you know, you need to be, you need to have that size and have that quality so that when you step on stage, you know, our dream, all of us, including me, our dream as a bodybuilder is to step on a stage and hands down be the clear cut winner. You walk up and it's like, yeah, I fucking won this shit. <laughs> Overall, yeah, I'm clearly, you know, above and beyond everyone on stage. And that's everyone's goal. And, you know, that nowadays, it really doesn't happen anymore. You know, you go to national level show or a pro show and it very rarely happens. You know, there's a lot of competition out there. And, you know, back in the day, you know, you can remember some of these top names, um, you know, where that shit happened. You know, you had guys that, you know, Kevin Leveroni, Flex Wheeler, you know, where they step on stage and it's like, wow, like, okay, show's over, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, that's my advice to you is, you know, get to where you need to be before you start competing, you know, and you can get to that desired size within a couple years. You know, I'm talking two to four years, you can be where you need to be. Now, 
if you can compete and you continue competing in local shows and dieting and this and that and bulking and dieting, you know, it's going to take you 10 to 15 years to get where you need to be. So bust your ass, do everything you need to do, whatever the fuck it takes to get your body where it needs to be, and then step on stage and fucking destroy the competition. Turn pro and fucking make some goddamn fucking money out of this sport.